I'm so sorry for your loss, Brian. Your mother was a great woman. She was like my very own family. Thank you. What was your name again? Estella. Oh, Stella, that's right. Yes, it's really too sad. But on the brighter side of things, you know, my mother was a multimillionaire, and I don't have any other family members, so I'm gonna get everything in her will. Hello, everyone. I'm Albert. Her mother put me in charge of her finances. If you two are ready, we can go ahead and discuss Miss Davis's will. Yes, uh, I'd like to start with real estate. I want to sell it all. And how fast do you think I could get that money? Before I answer that, let's take a look at your mom's will. Yeah, of course. It says, I, Susan Davis, am leaving all of my cash and properties to Stella Gonzalez. Well, <laughs> Stella, the caretaker. Okay, no, that must be a mistake, all right, because I'm her only living family member. She told me she was gonna leave everything to me. Well, I'm sorry, Stella's name is what's written here. And there's also another note, and to my son. Family does not require blood. It only requires love. Okay, let me. Okay, what does this even mean? You, what did you do? Okay, tell me exactly what happened the last time you saw my mother. Oh my goodness. I can't believe this. The last time I saw your mother was on her birthday. It was her birthday, so I brought her a cake. I was walking to your mom's hospital room to check up on her because her condition was getting a lot worse. <laughs> Happy birthday, Miss Davis. You're crying. <laughs> Why are you crying? <sighs> it's nothing, Stella. No. Please. Tell me. It's my son. I haven't seen him in years. I feel so alone. Oh, you're not alone, Miss Davis. You have me. I'll always be here for you. Hey, Mom. I, uh, I needed to talk to you about something. Oh, my son. <laughs> My beautiful baby boy, you finally came to see me. This is the best birthday gift ever. Oh, uh, that's right. Um, happy birthday, Mom. Look, I, uh, I don't have a lot of time right now, but I don't think you do either. So I think we should really talk about my future. Okay. What are you trying to say? Well, as your only living family member, I just... I wanted to make sure that you were going to leave everything to me in your will. Oh. You're here about the money. Well, you're the only family that I have. So, yes. Okay. Great. Okay, awesome. Yeah. I thought that was going to be your answer. I just wanted to come by, you know, make sure. And, yeah, on that note, I, I, I kind of have to go. But, happy birthday.
I own son. The only time he comes to visit me is when he needs money. He doesn't even care about me. <laughs> I have no one who truly loves me, Stella. Oh, Miss Davis. You're not alone. I'm always here for you. You've always been so good to me. Why do you do so much? Well... I've always believed that family doesn't require blood. It requires love. And you're like family to me. That's really beautiful. And you're more like family to me than even my own son. So you see, that was the very last time I saw her. She died the very next morning. I oh, know, I, I can't believe this, okay? I needed that money. It looks like you and I have a lot to talk about. The first thing I'm gonna do is build a school in Mrs. Davis's name, so that everyone can see how wonderful a woman she was. She was my family. Soon, honey. I just need to find a few more bottles, and then we'll have enough money for food, okay? Okay. Excuse me, young man. Could you please? Ugh, you smell. Look, if you're trying to ask me for money, the answer is no. No. I just wanted you to hand me the bottle. I recycle them for a living. It's how my daughter and I survive. But this is just trash. One person's trash is another person's treasure. Can I please have it? You gross. When's the last time you washed your hands? Look, if you want it, you can get out of the trash can yourself. Oh, just some dirty homeless lady and her daughter. <laughs> she wanted my empty bottle. Well, did you give it to her? No. I wasn't going to get close to her nasty hands. And who takes you to the trash for a living anyway? That's disgusting. <sighs> Mom? What's wrong? <sighs> well, Jasper... Some people don't have a choice. You see? After you were born, your dad and I started fighting a lot. He wasn't ready to be a dad, so he left us when you were just a baby. Without your dad around to help, I started falling behind on our bills. I couldn't work and take care of you at the same time. So we got evicted from our apartment. With no place to go, we ended up living on the streets. But then, I met a lady who changed my life forever. She taught me how to make money from recycling cans and bottles. So I'd go around with her, collecting trash with one hand and holding you in my other. 
just so we could survive. So you see, I never wanted to tell you, but we were homeless. I never knew you went through all that. I feel so bad. It's okay. You were too young to remember. I can't believe how I treated that lady. All she was trying to do was help her daughter. Actually, I'll be right back. Excuse me, miss. I'm so sorry for the way I treated you earlier. It's okay. Don't worry about it. You know, you're right. One person's trash is another person's treasure. So, please take this. Wow. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. See, honey? Now we have enough money to eat. Thank you. Jasper, I found another bottle you can give that. Talia? Is that you? Cynthia, oh my god. Not a day goes by that I don't think of you. Talia, she's the woman who helped us when we were homeless. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Thank you so much for what you did for us. You're welcome. This is my baby girl, Bella. Hello, Bella. Hello. <laughs> you know, you did so much for us. It is my turn to return the favor. I would like you and Bella to come and stay with us. Um, <laughs> thank you so much, but I don't, I don't feel like we could be a burden to you. Please, I insist. You wouldn't be a burden. You would be a blessing. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Um, Bella, what do you think about that, honey? Of course, I would love that. <laughs> well, great. Well, let's go. We can get some food on the way. Here, let me help you with this. Thank you. This is gonna change our lives. So, Bella, are you okay with pizza? Mm-hmm. Pizza sounds so good. <laughs> Come on. Controller. This is the second time I've stepped on it. Sorry, Mom. What are you doing playing video games on a Monday? You should be out looking for a job. We have bills to pay, you know? But this is a job. I can make a lot of money as a gamer. I've, I've, I've got a tournament tonight. If I win that, I'll get paid a lot. Playing video games isn't a real job. You need a career, like becoming a doctor, or a lawyer, or an engineer. Guy on the roof. Broke a shield? Downed him. Oh. I swear, I'm gonna break that game. Honey, it's okay. If that's what he wants to do, then we should support his dreams, right? Dreams don't pay the bills, Ron. What is this, Damien? Did you just put another Xbox charge on my credit card? I'm so sorry, Mom, but it's for the tournament tonight. I promise I'll pay you back. Pay me back with what? You don't even have a job. We're already $10,000 in credit card debt. We can't afford for you to put your stupid games on my credit card. Honey, it's okay. We'll figure it out. No, enough is enough. I'm not doing this anymore. Oh. 
Mom! I was in the middle of a game! You are not playing any more video games until you get a real job. But I told you! This is a job! And it's my dream! I'm one of the best players in the league. Just give me a chance and I'll prove it to you. You are not gonna get anywhere in life by playing video games. I should have done this a long time ago. I'm taking your Xbox. No, please. I have a tournament tonight. I don't care. <sighs> hey, bud. You okay? No. I can't believe she took away my Xbox. All I've ever wanted to be is a gamer. It's like, it's like she doesn't even care. No, of course she cares. She just doesn't understand that being a gamer is a real career now. Anyway, I have something that belongs to you. My Xbox? But why are you giving this back to me? Because... I always want you to follow your dreams. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. You don't know how much this means to me. <laughs> Good luck in your tournament. <laughs> oh, and don't tell your mom I gave that pack to you. <laughs> Kill me. <laughs> Damien sets up his Xbox and gets ready to start the tournament. After an intense battle, he ends up getting first place and wins the grand prize. And then a few days later, his mom happens to come into his room. Damien, what are you doing? I told you, no more video games until you got a job. Oh, hey mom, actually. And how in the world did you even get your Xbox back? That's it. This time I'm getting rid of it for good. We are behind in bills and you need to start helping out around here. Wait! We're not behind on bills anymore. What are you talking about? Just check your credit card statement. Please? Zero dollars? <laughs> But we were just $10,000 in debt. Not anymore, Mom. I paid it off. Remember that tournament I told you about? Well, I won, and they paid me $10,000. So you see, I used it to pay off your credit card debt. Oh my god. I can't believe this. And I just signed a huge contract with an esports team. So you and dad don't have to worry about bills ever again. I am so sorry that I didn't believe in you, honey. I, I should have been more supportive of your dreams. Will you ever forgive me? Of course. I love you so much, mom. So, does this mean I get to keep my Xbox? On one condition. You teach me how to play that game so I become a gamer too. <laughs> okay. So proud of you. Oh, oh, behind you! Ah, <laughs> they got me, they got uh, me! Come res me, come res me! Brayden, what is this? Your report card says you've got a C in math. Wait, what is he doing here? Oh, uh, we're just playing video games. <laughs> Hi, Mrs. Baker. Brayden, I need to speak with you alone. Now. What are you thinking, bringing him over here? Didn't I tell you not to hang out with kids like that? They're nothing but trouble. What do you mean? Martin's my friend. I don't care. He has a bad influence on you. Look at how low your grades have gotten since you started hanging out with him. That's not his fault. Martin's one of the smartest students in our school. You know, you really shouldn't judge someone before you get to know them. <laughs> yeah, right. He probably doesn't even go to school. 
You know how his people are. After today, I don't want you hanging out with him anymore. Understand? <laughs> we almost won. That was insane. <laughs> hey, Mom, do you think I can get that new laptop for my birthday? It'll really help me with school. We'll see. And that was good. Oh, here, you can have some more if you want. Thanks. You're pretty hungry, huh? Oh, yeah, I, I, I am. So, can I get some milk? Oh yeah, here, help yourself. Thanks. Did you just finish the milk? I was going to drink that. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, shoot, I, I could pour it back if you want. No, it's too late. Don't your parents feed you or something? Mom, it's fine. I told him he could have more. I don't break my back at work all day long just to feed some kid whose parents probably don't work and can't afford to feed him themselves. Mom! I'm really sorry about that. I, I should go. I'll text my dad to pick me up. Hey man, mind if I use the restroom real quick? Yeah, you can use the one in my bedroom upstairs. All right, appreciate it. Caught ya, red-handed. Oh, it it's not what it looks like. Oh, you're trying to steal from us, aren't you? No, I... I would never... I... Get out of my house right now! But... but... Now! <clears throat> Don't ever come back here again! My son doesn't need friends like you! Mom, what happened? Oh, I caught your little friend trying to steal from us. What? He would never do that. <laughs> Wait! Wait! Martin! Wait! Tell him the truth, Martin! You wanna know the truth? I'll tell you the truth. You see? You say that I'm a bad influence, and that kids like me probably don't even go to school. But the truth is. I go to school every day, and I get straight A's. I even try and get Brayden to study with me. And you say that my parents probably don't feed me because they're poor and don't work. But the truth is, my dad is the vice president of one of the biggest tech companies in the world. Oh my gosh, your dad drives a Tesla? And you say that I was in Braden's room to steal. But the truth is, I was only in Braden's room to surprise him. With this. Bought me a new laptop? Wow! And it's the new one I've been wanting. Thank you so much, man. You're the best friend ever. No problem. I know you needed it for school, so I asked my dad to help me get it. So you see, I'm not the bad guy you think I am. I am so sorry for how I treated you. I feel terrible. Brayden was right. I never should have judged you before I got to know you. I had it all wrong. Can you please forgive me? It's, it's okay. Honestly, I get this all the time. I'm pretty used to it. 
You are a great influence on Brayden, and you are welcome over any time. Thanks. Well, I gotta go. See you tomorrow at school, Brayden. See you, Martin. Thanks again. All we need is a three-pointer. We make this shot, we're going to Game 7 in the championship. Yes! On my team, Gay cannot play. I really thought you'd go to college. Do you think you'll get a scholarship? Once people find out about you, that would be my dream. No one's gonna want you, man.